What's up guys, it's Friday, so you know what time it is. Time for What The Fitness. And this week we have a new challenger emerging. Justin Mahali. He got on my radar because it was sent to me that he was the coach of Jody Vance. Jody Vance is a competitor who sadly passed away at the Arnold Classic. As I understand it, she was not competing in the Arnold Classic, she was simply an attendee. And she was using, I believe, two different diuretics and it caused her heart to stop. This is very, very sad. Unfortunately, this kind of stuff happens every year. Now, Justin did come out in a video and say that she took this diuretic against his advice. Maybe that's true, maybe it's not. I don't personally know. I don't know his views on diuretics. You know, who knows? But the reality is there's pretty bad coaching out there and bad coaching definitely has gotten people killed. He may be completely innocent. That's not what I'm here to talk about. Now, I have a lot of videos out there about why physique competitors shouldn't even use diuretics, shouldn't even cut water, shouldn't even cut sodium, and I give a lot of citations as to why, but, you know, I've been saying that for 20 years and people don't seem to listen to me. I did want to pull up this particular video. Maybe having some iodized salt. You'll see your body temperatures rise from that. But the reality is if you want to actually fix this long-term, you need to remove the systemic inflammation that your body's dealing with. You need to repair the detox pathways. But, but, okay, I'm trying to track this logic. In order to raise your thyroid, take iodized salt, um, carbohydrates, repair the detox pathways, your cytochrome P450? What does that have to do with thyroid? Remove the systemic inflammation? I kind of think I know where he's going with this. And it's gonna be really funny because if he's going where I think he's going with it, he's going to counteract his own point very, very quickly here. Liver support the gallbladder, even your pancreas, and you have to be able to clear your gut. Everyone who clear has low thyroid has impaired gut. If you don't think you do- Impaired gut. Nebulous term alert, nebulous term alert. Clear your gut. What exactly does that mean? Is, it, is he saying that there's undigested food and that is somehow impairing your thyroid function? Okay, so everybody just, I guess you do a colonic and now your thyroid's fixed. Like what? You're just throwing a bunch of terms together that have nothing to do with each other. And like, ho you're just like throwing shit against the wall, hoping something sticks. Every day, whatever the case may be. Why did he put poop every day in quotations? You should be pooping every day. And if you're pooping every day, then you're not like air quotes pooping every day. You're, you're pooping every day. If I use air quotes, it is to say that it's not really happening. If you're pooping every day, you're pooping every day. I promise, you still have impaired gut health. Your thyroid didn't just forget how to work after 500,000 years of evolution. You just don't have the body ready to support the T4 to T3 conversion, which oh. starts in the liver. As always, if this is something you need help with, reach out to us. We're gonna get you taken care of within a six month time, 100% guarantee. In a six month period of time, 100% guaranteed. So this dude, let me just see here. What are his credentials? Is he a physician? Is he an endocrinologist? Is he a nurse practitioner? No, he is a trainer. Where did you do your endocrinology research? And, and in, the, um, in the caption on this post, he says, if 10,000 people who saw this started taking their body temperatures, 9,800 of you would see that your body temps aren't where they should be meaning your thyroid is low. This matters because everything in your body runs off the thyroid. Your cells need T3. Your cholesterol needs T3. Your hormone signaling needs T3. Your reproductive organs need it. Your brain needs it. Everything is reliant on it. Remember he said that systemic inflammation can cause you to have impaired thyroid function? And he's saying that you need to take your body temperatures. Guess what raises your body temperature? Inflammatory cytokines. So how does that work, Justin? Inflammatory cytokines raise your body temperature. But what, ha what, ha what ha happened? This dude just threw together a bunch of terms and then just repeated gut, gut, gut. You have impaired gut. Your gut isn't working. Your gut, what about it is not working? Your digestive enzymes, your microbiome. But what are you talking about? So when it comes to nebulous terms, if a term can mean anything, it means nothing. This dude is not a physician. I, I, I doubt he's done advanced biochemistry or physiology classes. Maybe I'm wrong. I very much doubt it based on the way he's talking. Just throwing terms against the wall and hoping something sticks. This was not about Jody and the, her unfortunate death and him being her coach. Maybe he told her not to use those diuretics, in which case he gave her good advice. But this, this stuff is crap. It's absolute garbage. And it's what a lot of these coaches do in order to make you feel like they've got some magic secret. Because if he just told you what he was actually talking about without using these nebulous terms, you could actually just check out whether or not what he's saying makes sense. But they don't do that. They always just speak around and around and around 
with nebulous terms, even though anybody who's actually had advanced physiology and biochemistry would know within five seconds that this dude is 100% full of shit. So maybe he needs a gut cleanse considering how full of shit he is. Probably got low thyroid too from it. <laughs>